And that's where we begin tonight at 10. More than half of Louisville's murders from this year remain unsolved. Dozens of grieving families still waiting for an arrest. As WDRB's Conroy Deluge and photographer Jonathan McEmber report, for some, the wait has lasted weeks, for others, years. Conroy? Where we stand in the last week of July, LMPD has launched 98 homicide investigations, 41 have a suspect charged. As Louisville's murder rate has climbed year to year, the investigations have piled up more families with questions and heartache. My grief uh, is quiet and, and, and to myself. I'm still stuck on December 16, 2020 at 5.15 p.m. That's when Lakeisha Jeffrey learned her son, John Johnson, and his friend Tyron Grant were shot outside a food market. And right now I can't really grieve because I haven't, I haven't got justice. Nearly 600 days and no arrests. We spoke to Jeffrey over the phone while she was taking a break from work. She says it's been months since LMPD's lead detective on the case has called. Her son was one of the last of the 173 homicides in 2020, a record that was broken the following year. Many of those cases remain unsolved. The more people get murdered and the more people that get away with it, the more we are going to still continue to lose our loved ones. Gun violence hit the Gwynn family twice. Took one of my children and wounded and scarred my other child for the rest of her life. Christian Gwynn died in a drive-by shooting in December 2019. His mother, Krista, waited more than one year for an arrest. But it'll never take away the pain and it'll never ease the grief because it'll never bring Chris back. Gwynn's daughter, Victoria, was 19 years old when she was shot last summer. Her friend, Daywan Coward, did not survive. The shooter remains at large. Now she's trying to just get her life back, get her head back and make Daywan and Chris proud of her. She carries hope that the person who shot her daughter will end up in a courtroom. Eventually, the police will get that one piece of evidence that will help you and solve your, your crime. Since December 2020, Lakeisha Jeffrey has not only lost a son. My mother had a, uh, a heart attack two days later, and she just passed away on June the 8th. She says her mother died of a broken heart. Jeffrey knows the two are together once again, but will not rest until her son's killer is behind bars. We reached out to LMPD this afternoon. They sent a statement that they're working to solve cases from the past and on 2022. Quote, we have cleared 41 of the 98 cases with arrest. We are dealing with a staffing shortage. However, rest assured, your loved one's case is being worked. End quote. Conroy Deluche, WDRB News.